Well, I'm now joined by Professor Seth Lerner to talk about the uh, Cancer Genome Atlas project. Well, Professor Lerner, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Thank Good you very much here. for talking to us. Appreciate it. Now, now what is the, uh, the project? Well, so in, in short, the, the uh, National Cancer Institute uh, uh, funded a, a large-scale project with several hundred million dollars to do a human genome project of 25 common adult cancers and seven rare cancers. Uh, muscle invasive bladder cancer was identified early on as a priority. Um, and uh, so in a very simple way, we're looking at uh, genes that are altered, uh, expression patterns by RNA and protein, and then integrating that into uh, a full analytical uh, set to try to understand the, the, the genomic profile of muscle invasive bladder cancer. How's the, the project gone? So the project's going great. We uh, published uh, 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 our first marker paper in, in Nature in, about a year ago, uh, 131 tumors uh, that met all the quality control. And with the help of uh, a number of different centers that submitted uh, tumors, we now have 412 tumors, so a near tripling of the sample size. And when you get more tumors, there's more discovery. You can identify low frequency mutations, for example, that might be uh, uh, obscured with a smaller data set. So uh, we're in the process of analyzing that and hope to have uh, a manuscript ready for submission early summer. What's the next step? Well, so the next step is think about the findings as an encyclopedia, if you will. Uh, and then you have to take all the data and validate it. So it could be that uh, if you have uh, a gene alteration and you tie that to, say, prognosis, then you can go into the laboratory, for example, in animal model systems and test it. You can test interventions. And we've also got to take this into the clinic. So bladder cancer is a little bit behind some of the other malignancies. So these biomarkers need to be validated. They need to be, we need to have targeted therapies uh, in specific patient populations with specific gene alterations, and then uh, link that uh, drug activity to outcome, and ultimately to be able to get approved drugs for patients with specific you know, gene alterations that are potentially driving their particular cancer, personalized medicine. As you say, I mean, you're a clinician, and as you say, personalized medicine, it all comes at the end of the day to uh, patient uh, outcomes. How far are we away from true personalized medicine treatment when it comes to bladder cancer? Well, um, maybe not as far as one might think. We've got uh, trials designed now to test uh, biomarker panels that are associated with uh, pathologic complete response to cisplatin-based chemotherapy. So right now, this is a great example because right now we treat everybody the same way, knowing that maximum 40% are going to benefit and the other 60% won't, but they get the same treatment. So with this clinical trial, this is a, a U.S. cooperative group trial, S1314, uh, we will get an answer to a specific uh, gene expression uh, uh, profile of, of relate that to outcome. Now, if that gets validated, then the next study is, okay, now you come in the door, you get your gene expression profile, you're sensitive, you get chemotherapy, you're not, maybe go into a targeted therapy trial uh, uh, um, so we can get a little better readout on biomarkers and, and targeted therapies. Well, Dr. Lennon, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.